That's what I love about Star Trek. One of the things is that it has always been responsible for, I think, a lot of technological innovation that we are, in fact, enjoying in our lives today. The flip cell phone, that's Kirk's communicator. The Bluetooth earpiece, that Lieutenant Uhuru wore that. The, the, the iPad, we, had, we carried pads in the next generation on our, on, on, on our version of the Enterprise. So, warp drive? Yeah, I, I believe that that which we focus our imaginations on is what we tend to manifest in this world. And, and science fiction literature has been a real lens through which we could look at the future. Getting back to, to the iPad story, yeah. I mean, when you first saw Apple unveiling that product, mm -hmm. knowing what you were using on set at yeah. Next Generation, what were you thinking at that time? Well, my first thought was, oh my goodness, because we were in the middle of figuring out what we were going to do with the Reading Rainbow brand in terms of, of bringing it into the digital realm. And, and when the iPad came out and its application for books was so clear that this is going to revolutionize the print industry, right? It's going to revolutionize how we consume books. I, we got very excited at our, our kids because we 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 knew that we had a a part of that. We knew we, that we we could find our way into that. There was a, an absolute direct vertical. You know, Reading Rainbow was about books. We could take books and digitize them and 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 offer them to kids. So it was a really big day for us. And it, it wasn't until a little bit later that it was pointed out to me. Well, wait a minute. This is like what you guys, isn't it? As people have used. The Reading Rainbow mm. iPad app. Mm -hmm. What have you learned the most just by seeing the way people use it? The iPad itself, it's the engagement factor and the potential for education, I think, where kids are concerned is really revolutionary. I really believe that we, could, we can dramatically improve the way we educate kids in this world by putting whatever content we, we choose, language, art, science, math, embed it in storytelling. I've got to ask you about Jordy LaForge's visor mm. on Next Generation yeah. because everybody's talking about Google Glass before. Yeah, yeah. I know you've weighed in on this. I have. Um, I what, have. What, what do you think about the differences between the visor and Google Glass? Well, boy, I, look, I am not an engineer, okay? I just play one <laughs> in the movies and on TV. But as I understand it, uh, the way Jordy sees is much more akin to your hearing than anything else in that your auditory senses are able to take in a lot of information simultaneously and then decode it, basically. Google Glass uh, is the first step, I think, towards that sort of, of uh, sophistication. But it's an important first step. That was actor LeVar Burden. I thought he might bring the visor. Maybe have one in his back pocket. No.